think I got that right. So anyway, hello everybody and uh, welcome back to the Puzzle Masters channel. It's uh, me, Tristan, frequent recurring special guest on the channel, as well as the uh, Puzzle Masters significant other. And uh, today, this is the uh, first video in a new series on Mars placements in each of the 12 signs of the zodiac. And as always, we're going to be starting with Aries. So first of all, in general, what does the uh, planet Mars mean in astrology? Well, to sum it up in one word, I guess I'm going to have to say masculinity. I mean, if you look at its glyph, that circle with the arrow shooting out of it, that's that all too common symbol for the male gender here in our society. And that was actually one of the first things that I noticed when Puzzle Master first introduced me to the, this wonderful world of astrology. And like, this was, this was never hard for me to remember because as the, as the old saying goes, men are from Mars. And like, even when you think of astronomy, there's something manly about that red planet. It has the largest volcano in the solar system. It's like, and it's red. But okay, so of course, it's not all about male gender. Girls have Mars placements too. Everybody does. So astrologically speaking, what does the Mars placement actually mean? It governs things like physical energy, as opposed to like emotional energy, which is more Venus or whatever, water signs, but um, but it governs like aggression, assertiveness, and just like that drive to take an idea and to put it into action, not just to sit on the couch and say, one day I'll do that. Um, but like everything that I just said, they're kind of characteristics of the sign of Aries too, the cardinal fire sign. And it's like the most cardinal of all signs because it's the beginning of the whole zodiac. The sun passes through Aries at the start of spring, the start of light for a lot of things. And before the days of the Gregorian calendar, it was the start of the year, and as it should be. I mean, to me, that's always just made more sense. And that's, so that's not a coincidence that Mars and Aries are kind of the same thing. Mars is the ruling planet of Aries. So if your Mars sign is in Aries, this physical energy, this whole, yeah, raw, that's that's just amplified. Um, so, so like, you know, even more so than people who have their sun signs in Aries. And I've known people who have their sun signs in Aries who have been like completely turned off of astrology because this whole like assertive go get him attitude, it doesn't apply to me. So I, astrology must be wrong. But Mars is where it's at. I mean, the sun kind of conflicts in, in some ways with, with the whole Arian, Arian thing. So anyway, People with uh, Mars and Aries are generally confident in what they believe and confident enough that they can influence others, but through example, um, you know, try to get, try to spread their beliefs. So like any war hero, they're, they're courageous, they're honest, they're noble, but then there's also, of course, the bad side. You know, they don't negotiate. It's, it's their way and, and only their way. And they don't always think things through strategically. It's just gut instinct. If, if gut instinct takes over, there's no stopping to ask for directions. Oh, and these these traits, they really show up in their sex lives. They, dom like, they dominate in, in that field. They know what they want, and they get it. And this, like, springing into action, nothing gets in my way attitude is the reason that, like, senior government posts and business management roles are just filled with people with their Mars and Aries. I mean, it's, it's just rather unfortunate when two Mars Aries people get into an argument with each other, because that's something that isn't easily resolved. It's just the buttheads, like the two, the two rams with their curly horns interlocking each other. And that's something that, that often stays a stalemate for quite a while. And, uh, and yeah, that's Mars and Aries. Please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you'll be the first to know when the next video in the series comes out, which will be... Mars and Taurus. So, see you then.